This is my Particle Accelerator 2.0. A bunch of you in the last video were asking me for a tutorial on how to make this. So in today's video I'm going to show you a simple tutorial on how to make this yourself. Also I'm launching a gas right now because in the last video a bunch of you were asking me to launch a gas uh, out of this Particle Accelerator. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's see how far- oh my gosh. That is so cool every single time. Let's see how far we can launch this gas. Also thank you for everyone who said to do F3N to go into spectator mode. Uh, I did not know that was a thing, um, so I really appreciate all the comments letting me know about that. Let's see how far we launch this gas. Let's get our F3 up. We are all the way up at 200, 300. Oh my goodness, look how far up he is up there. He had to be close to like seven, 800 blocks in the sky. That is insane. And yes, the gas survives when it hits the ground. And look how far away we are from the particle accelerator. That is absolutely crazy. So this is super simple to build and what you want to do to start off is by making the diagonal launcher in the ground here or wherever you want and the diagonal launcher you do build a shape just like this and then you want to take your powered rails uh, like this and then have your corners with just normal rails so they bend and then this is the order you want to build it in you don't want to place this rail down first this one you want to place this rail down last uh, or else it'll mess this connection up here there you go, you have your diagonal launcher built. I'll show you that it is already functioning as a diagonal launcher. Yeah, that's really cool. And then all you gotta do from here on out uh, is just build uh, however far up you want and just a circular motion uh, around the launcher here. And you can switch this rail out actually to a normal rail so it bends. And then each of the corners here, you just place down uh, just normal track. And then when you get to this part here, you can go up like this and then have this connect to just another normal rail. And you just continue to spiral your way up and up and up. Uh, and you can build this as high up as you possibly want. Yeah, so that's basically all it is. It's just a diagonal launcher and you just spiral it all the way up. Uh, and you can go, like I said, as far as you want up. I built that one just, uh, I don't know, like 27 or something, 30 blocks up. I don't remember exactly. Uh, but this one will go ahead and launch and work and the uh, further up you build it the further it will shoot because the more time it has to wind up and if you want to get really crazy with it you add a wind up system at the beginning here um, so that you uh, create just a bunch of speed uh, right off the bat when you're launching so you just do another simple uh, direction uh, or square like this uh, and this needs to be not a powered block because this is just going to be a normal rail here with a lever uh, sitting right here and then these are all powered in these four spots and then in the corners like this and then you want your rail flicked so this is just in a circular motion right now and then you can place your minecart down and whatever you want in your minecart start the minecart up and the longer that you let this wind up the further that your minecart will be launched off so the longer we let that wind up the further it'll go and then when you want to let it launch just flick the lever it'll go in a circle and it'll launch further so you can see they progressively got further with the bigger uh, this uh, contraption got and with the further we winded it up. And now that you know how to make this, you can now launch things diagonally in your world as far as you want. And I've added just a little bit of a contraption over here um, to launch a bunch of entities at one time. So if I go ahead and press this button, it place down mine cards in each of these holding cells. And then what we can do is you can take whatever entity you want. We're going to go ahead and take villagers here, just an example, fill all these mine cards up. And now that we got all the villagers loaded up, let's go ahead and over here. And if we click this fence gate, it's going to release this guy. And each guy is going to be let out in a consecutive order. And then we just have a bunch of villagers that are going to be winding up here in the system. Let's go ahead and head into spectator mode and have some fun with this. Watch these guys just get launched into outer space. Oh my goodness, they are absolutely moving. This is crazy. Look at, look at all of them go. Oh, okay, there we go. They're getting launched now. <laughs> Look at them being launched. You can barely see them. They're like on screen for just a frame. So we got a bunch more in there. And let's go ahead and let all of them launch. And then we'll go find them. All right, there goes the last guy. All right, so we can wind up to go really fast in spectator mode. Let's see where are they at. They should be extremely... <laughs> there they are. There are the villagers in this guy here. Look at all of them. That is crazy. They're flying in. And unfortunately, none of these guys are going to survive. I don't have a uh, catching mechanism set up for them yet. And they've all bumped each other <laughs> to be spread out all over the place. 
And a bunch of you wanted me to use TNT minecarts in this particle accelerator. So let's go ahead and place a bunch of these TNT minecarts down and see what happens when we release these. All right, here we go. TNT minecart initiate. Let's see how crazy this is or underwhelming. Because I'm pretty sure the TNT minecarts, just like normal minecarts, don't actually gain a ton of speed um, because they don't have entities in them. Uh, I guess the minecart or the TNT inside of them is not considered an entity. So that is very interesting because they're definitely not going anywhere near as fast as the villagers. So they probably won't launch very far. Right, we're getting very close to them launching here. Let's see what happens. They're not going very fast. Yeah, just like I thought, they're not getting launched very far. Uh, some of them are getting called back on. Yeah, I, I did test this a little bit earlier. And they are not making it very far, which is unfortunate. We need to find a way to speed them up even, even faster. But these diagonal launchers I came up with are super satisfying. And now imagine chaining a bunch of these together uh, a very, very far distance in your world. And you can launch yourself extremely far in a completely new direction now that it's not straight, but completely diagonally, which is absolutely crazy. So I set up another test here, but with pigs instead of villagers this time. And instead, we are going to be in the last minecart here so we can follow the pigs into outer space. Let's go ahead and click this button here. That should activate the per first pig. Yep, there he goes. And then we should be following in behind in succession. So every other pig is going to go ahead of us. And then we will follow the pigs into outer space from our particle accelerator, our launcher, whatever you want to call this thing. All right, let's go ahead and see here. <laughs> Look at all the pigs going around in circles. This is crazy. Oh, bacon in space. Pig over the moon. Oh my goodness, this is wild. We're going so fast. And here we go. We get launched. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at all the pigs. Oh my goodness. A bunch of bacon in space. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely crazy. It is a really slow fall though. So if you want to build something that's at max build height, you'll have to fall quite a while before you actually hit uh, whatever you have built. Yeah, but unfortunately, see all the pigs are dying now. Oh, so sorry guys. But that's a lot of bacon, so there we go. <laughs> Outer space bacon right there for you. And then one last thing I want to do today before we end is let's put two pigs in a boat. Let's put a saddle on one of them. And then let's get a minecart to pick up that boat. Yeah, and then we should be able to get on the pig. There we go. We're on the pig. Let's let the pig wind up for a while here. Here we go. He's winding up. All right, we've been winding it up for about a minute now. So let's go ahead and see if we can click the lever and see how far we can launch ourselves where is this lever oh there we go we got it we got it we got it all right so we already got two pigs in a boat in a minecart and we've been winding ourselves up in the accelerator for quite a while there for about a minute or two minutes i can't remember exactly how far let's get our f3 up let's see how far we launch ourselves into the sky does it beat the camel from last episode and <laughs> no just about 500 blocks in the sky the camel if you guys didn't see last video we went about 700 almost 800 blocks in the sky so still pretty epic yeah but that is gonna do it for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing as it really does help me out i uh, have a lot of more fun uh, minecart ideas that we're gonna try so thank you guys again so much for watching i hope you guys have a great rest of your day Take care. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Wait a second. We're falling the opposite direction. This is wild. All right. See you guys later. Bye.